the society has a lot of ills and one of them is the lack of hospitality let's talk about the lack of hospitality in this video please watch to the end hello guys welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time i upload a new video you're going to be the first to come and watch and if you're returning welcome it's your girl lose nail like i said i'm going to be talking about lack of hospitality this is one of the ills that the society faces and um well we need to really hit on this very hard if each time you hear the word hospitality, it has to do with meeting new people, meeting um, visitors or, or so. Wikipedia defines hospitality as the relationship between a guest and a host where the host receives the guest with a goodwill. And hospitality is a friendly and generous reception and entertainment of guests, visitors and strangers. As per the definition, you get to see that without hospitality, you, you lose a lot. You understand um, the lack of hospitality will make you lose a lot you need to be hospitable I don't know if you've ever uh, been in a situation like a car setting most of my examples today is going to be about entering a taxi and probably somebody you're inside the taxi and then somebody is get, getting in and the person says that I'm gonna pay 150 per se from this distance Bonduma to my 17 this is Cameroon Boya and um he, um the probably the driver does not hear and the person enters the car and does not greet and the person is snobbish or has a very um cold character or cold um personality very cold and i think that one of the things that you need to note is to be hospitable means you need to be welcoming you cannot just enter a taxi and then you don't greet and expect things to. And somehow, maybe in the course of it and the person gets to my 17 and the, the driver and the person starts arguing that you never told me that you're going to pay me 150 francs or so for this journey. And they start arguing and probably the person said it. If I'm in the taxi, I'm telling you the truth. I will not, I will not answer. I will not get into the, the, the discussion or the quarrel because... First of all, you entered the car, you didn't greet, you were not hospitable to me, for me, that's me. And it is always important for us to be hospitable. And probably in another way, you could get into a taxi and you greet, nobody answers you. We need to be hospitable. If I'm in that case, I will repeat the greeting and eventually, if you, if you guys answer, <laughs> I'll be like, so you guys could answer. Come on. We need to be hospitable. In simple words, hospitality means friendliness welcoming we need to be amicable you need to be social you need to be hospitable every company owner needs to um make sure that when you're recruiting you need to recruit um employees that will be hospitable you don't want someone coming into your uh, as a client into your company and and meet um your workers frowning or not being welcoming to them you lose clients if you don't have that um character in your employees Okay, let us consider the scripture, Luke chapter 10, verse 30 to 37. 30 to 37, I'm going to read. And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked and and looked on him and passed on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him and went to him and bound him his uh, up with his wounds, pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him and on the morrow when he departed he took out two pens and gave them to the host and said unto him take care of him and whatsoever thou spendest more when i come again i will repay thee so if in that case the good samaritan acted with a very hospitable character Come on, we need to be hospitable. The things that we, we can give people, it will cost us nothing. If you can show somebody love, you can show, be hospitable, you can greet somebody, be welcoming to somebody, it will cost you nothing. We need to be hospitable. What will cost you if you had to um, um, separate a fight of 100 francs? Say you meet two people fighting and they are fighting over 100 francs and you have 10,000 francs with you. What will cost you to just remove the 100 francs and give the person? We need to be hospitable. 
like i said i have friends who are lawyers so i had to ask this and i noticed one time and he posted this i'm not going to mention his name because i'm not sure that he's okay with me mentioning his name so um he said I, he posted this on his statues and it really triggered something in me it's a law a code in the law um in it's, it's section article sorry article and section 283 i'm so sorry i'm making a lot of mistakes failure to assist whoever fails to render assistance to a person in danger of death or grievous harm whether by his own endeavors or by calling for help where such assistance involves no risk to himself or to another person shall be punished with imprisonment for from one month to three years or we find from 20,000 francs to 1 million or with both such imprisonment and fine so the law already states that you need to be hospitable if you see somebody that you can help you see a situation where somebody is dying and you can be of help or call for help make sure to do it as soon as you can make sure to do it as soon as you can the importance of being hospitable is that it reveals christ in you it reveals the character of christ in you and when we talk about being hospitable, we don't mean faking, faking names because nowadays everybody is like, babe, boo, everywhere, you know, you need to be hospitable. Let it come from within, you know, do it from within because of course you're trying to reveal Christ. When you are hospitable, you build the community. Like I said, in the society today, there's a lack of hospitality. So, but when you are hospitable, you build the community. Imagine you entering a taxi and you say, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Or when you're dropping off on a car, probably in the night and you're like, oh, everybody, good night. And you know, it's, it's hospitable. You are blessing somebody indirectly. Hospitable, hospitality makes you learn about different people. I think there's this joke that is out there and, um, where you say when you enter a taxi and somebody is giving a, a joke or t a, telling a story and the person needs to be fast so that you can get to you can get to yet the end of it and i know if you're hospitable you can be like bo please just finish the story quick quick tell this story quickly may end so on. how you do end because for example you enter a taxi and the, the people are talking about something and you're it's really interesting and your your destination is short you can be like oh come on i beg gonna finish this story quick quick i know at least somehow it will keep it will keep um it will keep an environment somehow it will keep an environment a very beautiful environment and somehow somebody can remember you just because of that act that you did okay and one of the things why you need to be hospitable is for your own good the bible says in hebrews chapter 13 verse 2 it says do not forget to show hospitality to strangers like I said, it's about strangers. When you talk about hospitality, just not just to people around you, but mostly to people you never met before, people you're meeting for the first time. The Bible says, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing. You entertain angels each time you 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 um you talk or you are nice or you're generous or you're social with people you've never met before in genesis chapter 18 because of the hospitality of Ab abraham there was a, he received the news of his wife giving birth to the promised child in a year's time as per um childbirth because he welcomed the three um strangers if you read the whole of that chapter you see how it was it was it was just strangers he saw them and he was like oh, come on come in let me give me make you something to eat or so you know even as ladies you need to be hospitable people will be meeting up with you somewhere you these are people don't you don't have people um asking you um beautiful questions you know what i'm talking about and so you need to be hospitable even in your white house as a wife you need to be welcoming welcome people don't make your house comfortable for people to come in even in genesis chapter 19 lord was hospitable when jesus uh, when sorry when god wanted to um, destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and he had to destroy the land yet Lord was there and because of the hospitality that he showed to the angels that were coming into the the land of Sodom and Gomorrah there he had his liberation for me and he escaped out of that land till God destroyed the land so your hospitality will cost you beautiful things you need to be hospitable to people People you've never met before, be hospitable to them. Even as the as a church hostess or usher or protocol protocol, you you don't need to drag people. 
Come on, be nice to them. Give them a smile. Show them, show, hold their purses, carry them to, to their seat and be nice. Smile with them. Somebody's child is crying in church. You will not come and be shouting at the child or somebody is sleeping in church and you come and get up. No, you don't do that. You need to be hospitable. Be nice to people. You don't know where you meet people. Let's be hospitable. Um, being hospitable makes us glorify God. It shows God's ca character in us. I've seen many cases where you meet people in a car. Somebody will say, oh, I met you somewhere. And I think I know you from somewhere. And um, probably it's because of something that you did that was intriguing to that person. First impressions matter. You don't, you don't, you may, you don't need to know somebody to be nice to the person. When you meet somebody for the first few times, it, it, it can spark up something in your life. It can, it can change things in your life. You don't know where. And even on social media, you can get to meet people. Even as much as we need to be careful, you need to be nice to people. Somebody will not come and text you hi and you're replying after 30 years. Come on. I'm very swift when it comes to replying people. And, and my, my mom is like, come on. I don't have an empty message on my, my message box. I, I try not to. Hello, how? Immediately she texts me, it looks like I was waiting for it. You need to be hospitable. You need to be hospitable. I've seen people grow in life based on how they met people. Most of the people around me in my, my inner cycle, they are people that I met. They were nice to me on the first on the, on the first day I met them. Like my close teacher, Justine. Like she does not know about this. But she did something to me on the first day that I, 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 I cannot really, I don't know how. She sparked something in me. I needed money. I had, my salary had gone so low that I couldn't. I didn't have any money. And somehow she, I, I was like, "Oh God, how am I going to do it?" And and I think I said something to her, and then she removed a thousand francs and gave it to me. And it meant from that day I was like, "This girl is just somebody I should be close to." Not because of what she did, but because I feel like that was a level of hospitality. She was nice. She was caring to me. She was she was there. I didn't really know her at that moment. And then I said, "This is somebody I should be close to." I've seen a lot of people grow because of how hospitable they were to people they met for the first time. Come on. If you want to get something in this life, be hospitable. Be nice to people you don't know. You, 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 you remember, just see people, strangers as angels. Even as much as you need to be careful, you still need to be nice. Have a wonderful weekend and God bless you. I love you so much.